Let's join Irvine in the Jaguar for one of his qualifying laps. Calmly through the last corner, you've cut the timing being now and bring the car over to the right-hand side for the short pit straight. There's a wall, be careful on the right. Now sweep through Grand de Curb at 170 miles an hour. Still accelerating into Estoril. Come down, three gears. Feel the grip through the front tyres. As soon as you know you can turn, get back on the throttle and now take as straight a line as you can through golf down the back straight up to 190 miles an hour. Look for the marker boards on the left. At 110 metres he breaks and it goes eerily quiet. A bit of tyre rubber up there on the TV screen but Irvine no problems accelerating hard out of Adelaide hairpin up towards Nürburgring chicane. 175 miles an hour. Now watch him correct the car through there. Tremendous direction change into the 180 degree corner stay inside the front tires are sliding away from the apex no problem for maximum throttle through this little right hander you're on your way to 175 miles an hour and the Imola chicane but it's blind you'll never be doing less than 130 through here he clips the curb as normal heading into Chateau d'Eau but he's locked the rear tires he runs wide he collects the car up and manages to get it back in on the curb heading downhill now building up to 160 miles an hour into the last chicane just 75 on the way through accelerate to 85 and immediately back down to 45 it's very slow and clumsy and there he is over the line he's got to improve that Chateau d'Eau approach 